Right now at noon, the investigation continues in Albion after a police pursuit and standoff turned deadly. We'll tell you what we know so far. Plus, as the conflict in Gaza continues, U.S. officials are worried that Iran could be preparing for a massive retaliatory strike on Israel. This is News 3 Now at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Catherine Merck. We begin with law enforcement officials working across state lines to learn more about a series of incidents that left three people dead. A press release from the Dubuque County Sheriff's Office in Iowa says they found a woman dead as a result of foul play on Wednesday night. A 13-year-old and a five-month-old that were staying with the woman were missing from her home. Sheriff's officials later learned that the person of interest in the woman's death ended up being in Dane County. That person was 38-year-old Alexander, Alexander Grunke. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says Grunke and the missing teen girl dropped a baby off at a house in the town of Dunn at 5.30 on Wednesday night. That child is unharmed and in the custody of Dane County officials. Grunke and the girl took off in a car, leading to a pursuit with both of them shooting at officers. The chase ended when officers used spike strips. That's when the girl ran into the woods. The Sheriff's Office later found her unresponsive and she later died. After the chase, Grunky fired several shots into a house on Ramsey Road and barricaded himself in its basement. Deputies ran into the home and got a family out safely. By the time law enforcement reached Grunky, he died by suicide. During the standoff, neighbors could see the commotion. You just knew it was bad because there were so many, I've never seen so many cop cars at a scene and they all had their lights on and they were lined up against or lined uh, down the road and they were really focusing on the, the wooded section of that. So you just get this bad feeling like, oh gosh, you know, yeah, I was, it was very, it was, it was, sca it was scary. The Dubuque County Sheriff says even though it appears the situation is over, his office will continue investigating to make sure there isn't someone out there who's not held accountable for their actions. Now to an update on a homicide investigation in Madison. A woman is in the Dane County Jail right now with a pending homicide charge. Police arrested 31-year-old Tamar Brianna Beasley after she shot a man on Wednesday, allegedly. That man later died from his injuries. MPD says the two were in a relationship and had been involved in previous incidents in Chicago. MPD is currently working with Chicago police to find out more about that. The shooting happened on Northport Drive on the city's north side, not too far from a playground. It was at 6.30 when the shooting happened, still light outside. Police say multiple other people were around when Beasley shot the victim, and Madison police are asking anybody with information about the shooting to call police at 608-255-2345. News 3 now wants to remind anybody experiencing domestic violence that help is available. You can call Domestic Violence Intervention Services at any time on the 24-hour hotline that's up on your screen right now. And there's also a national hotline, and that number is 800 799-7233. Both of these stories are on Channel 3000 right now. That's our website and the mobile app. Just search Channel 3000 in the App Store for all of these updates. To Milwaukee now, where a person of interest in the investigation into a severed leg is now being charged in relation to a missing teenager. Maxwell Anderson has been in custody since April 4th. He's facing charges that include first-degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse, and arson. All of those charges are related to the disappearance and now confirmed death of Shade Robinson. She's been missing since April 1st. Documents show Robinson and Anderson had some type of relationship and that the two went on a date the day Robinson went missing. Now turning to the weather where there's some beautiful temperatures planned. Meteorologist Kelly Slifka has a look at your forecast. Kelly? Yeah, we do have some beautiful weather. Just have to get through some of this wind that's been howling. Kind of just picked up there. Had a gust uh, uh, blow through the uh, patio. We've had some of these gusts that could be as high as 35 miles per hour. So it's going to be a windy afternoon. I'm actually kind of uh, blocked by some of that wind. And just a few uh, puffy cumulus clouds that will be popping up. Otherwise, quite a bit of sunshine. But noticing these winds right now, sustained wind of 16 miles per hour here in Madison coming from the northwest. 23 mile per hour sustained wind in Janesville. So it is a windy Friday afternoon. It's all wrapping around the storm system. Brought some showers yesterday. Now all that shower activity is on to the east, but on the back side of it, we're getting the winds. We'll probably see a little bit more cloud cover uh, going into the afternoon. But this could be a windy day, just a tad cooler than yesterday. But beautiful weather headed our way for the upcoming weekend. Looking just about perfect for this time of April. 
enjoy that because we do have some stormy weather headed our way. It looks like that'll be coming in Tuesday. Could see several rounds of stronger storms by then. But we're closing in on 60. Probably won't rise a whole lot more, maybe a degree or so over the next couple of hours as we've got some colder air working in from the north on the back side of the storm system. So we'll watch temperatures at around 60 for the afternoon hour. So it should be a, a nice uh, temperature wise, but we're just have to, having to deal with this wind right now. Northwest at 16 uh, temperatures backing off uh, later today into the 50s. We'll talk more about the beautiful weather this weekend and also that severe weather potential next week coming up in about 15 minutes. The Biden administration says it's forgiving $7.4 billion in student loan debt. That will impact some 277,000 borrowers. It's part of a program by the White House to make it easier for some people to qualify for loan forgiveness. The program also includes a repayment plan that creates a shorter pathway to loan forgiveness for many low-income borrowers. That means that uh, folks in Wisconsin will receive an email saying that their debt is relieved. And think about what that does for the local economy. It gives those people an opportunity to go back and either upgrade in their homes or, or, or just contribute to their local economy instead of paying for debt that they might have taken out over 20 years ago. Republicans have sharply criticized the program. They argue the president is transferring the cost of student loan debt to taxpayers who chose not to go to college or who already paid it for themselves. In combination with other cancellations, the Biden administration has canceled loan debt for 4.3 million people total. The conflict in the Middle East could be on the verge of a major escalation. U.S. officials believe Iran is preparing a retaliatory attack against Israel. Iran vowed retaliation after a deadly airstrike on its embassy in Syria earlier this month. That it blames on Israel. A U.S. official tells CBS News it expects a major attack that could include more than 100 drones, dozens of cruise missiles, and possibly ballistic missiles aimed at military targets in Israel. The U.S. says steps have been taken to protect U.S. forces in the region. Still ahead for us this afternoon, Crocs is offering up a new crisp collaboration with snack maker Pringles, and also Instagram is testing out new tools to protect teens. We'll have more next. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. The spring could just break. Precision is there to help. We have fully stocked vehicles to fix any problem you have that same day. And we are all over the Madison area. You're just one phone call away from getting your garage door fixed today. Precision door service, a name you can trust. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line. Many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. You think Atlanta's point guard is good for 20 tonight? No question. You hear he got name dropped on that new song? He feeling himself for so. sure. Ever since that track drop, he been on fire. The hook literally says his name eight times in a row. He might go for 30. With that much hype, I'd lock it in. But that's just me. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Save big at 
Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. If you haven't filed your taxes yet, there are only a few more days to get it done. The IRS deadline is this Monday, April 15th, unless an extension is requested. Though there is a little more time for those who live in Maine or Massachusetts, where the deadline is April 17th. The IRS says over 90 million taxpayers have filed so far this year, with tens of thousands using its free online tool that's currently available in 12 states. Instagram is testing out new tools to protect teens from scammers, particularly sextortionists, who sometimes solicit nude photos and demand money to keep them private. One of the features Instagram is testing will automatically blur sensitive photos sent by users under 18 and remind them to be cautious about what they're sending and allow them to unsend if they change their mind. And Crocs is offering up a crisp new collaboration with snack maker Pringles. The collection includes pairs of colorful clogs that highlight the snack brand's iconic flavors, Gibbet's brand charms featuring the Pringles logos, and a pair of crush boots. Fans who get their hands on the boots first may also get free packs of a new Pringles flavor called Crocktail Party. The limited edition watermelon lime chili flavor was inspired by the partnership. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Carissa Lawson. Here's a look at the stock report at the noon, noon hour. The Dow is down 480, NASDAQ down 269, and S&P 500 down 74. Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can call for action at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Up next, Pam is watching today's ag prices and we're tracking your first worn forecast. And then later on Live at 4, the Dane County Farmers Market returns tomorrow. We're gonna head to the square to find out what you can expect from the market this year. What can our foam do for your home? Incredible comfort, no matter what the weather. Incredible savings, because your AC is going to run so much less. It even reduces outside noise and allergens. No matter what kind of cheap insulation you already have, our foam will go right over it. Incredible. And spring is the time for incredible deals. So we're matching the $1,200 tax credit with a $1,200 discount. USA Insulation. Get your best night's sleep on a new mattress from Steinhoffel's. Queen Tempur-Pedic mattresses start at only $52 per month with Steinhoffel's 60-month financing, plus get $300 in Steinhoffel's cash. Upgrade your sleep with the Tempur-Pedic Ergo Smart Base powered by Sleep Tracker AI. This base automatically responds to snoring by raising your head, giving you a better, more restful night's sleep. Get the Ergo Smart Base and mattress for just $94 per month. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. Watch this, it's all 100% real. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. Nothing has been doctored or tampered with. The very real problem will disappear before your eyes and hers with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes and the effects will last for hours and hours. Over 1 million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags. It works on sagging jowls, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. In just minutes, you can restore and beautify your face, even look years younger. And the look will last all day or all evening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I'm just in love with the mirror right now. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Prove It Plexiderm trial. You'll see why our customers describe Plexiderm with three words. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. Operators are standing by. Lisa and Walter reveals Quince's script secrets. Cheryl doesn't read the script before our table read. She was like, and then it, it, Quinta. And Quinta was like, <laughs> And Chef Kwame's in the kitchen. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3.
Start your evening with News 3 Now at 6, moving forward, uncovering the stories and getting to the heart of events and issues that matter here. And when bad weather is on the way, we warn you first. News 3 Now at 6, moving forward, weeknights. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Welcome back to News 3 Now at noon. Let's check in with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. Happy Friday, Pam. Yeah, I'll tell you, I can verify what Kelly was just talking about with the winds. I just got back from uh, one of the installments of the Wisconsin Association of Meat Processors there at the Marriott in Middleton. And a uh, full house, by the way. They started their adventures yesterday down on the UW-Madison campus at the beautiful state-of-the-art uh, meat uh, muscle build... Uh, Muscle Meat Sciences and uh, Muscle Arts Center down on the UW campus. I talked to Dr. Jeff Sindelar, who's our University Extension Meat Specialist, and he says, with so much state-of-the-art technology around, you could almost get in trouble. Um, great question. I think the better, better question is, what can't we do here? Uh, and it really is a sky's the limit type of feeling, atmosphere, and capability. When we do programs like workshops and short courses, we really have to be very judicious to figure out what we want to teach and how we want to teach it because we have so many tools, so many resources, not only the facility and the equipment, but also the people, the staff that are in this building, that it's really, um, we can find ourselves in a pickle by overcomplicating things because of all the things that we can now do that we were never able to do before in our old facility. Dr. Jeff Sindler again, he's uh, busy today with all the staff over at the Marriott West where they're judging meats that will be part of the Wisconsin State Fair meat judging activities. They brought that in for the first time. Dr. Sindler says that state-of-the-art facility that they've got on the UW-Madison campus uh, has really been able to attract a lot of talent. He said six years ago they had three faculty and zero staff support. Now they've got six faculty, 10 staff and growing. They also have about 20 graduate students that are involved in uh, meat processing on the UW campus. And uh, last year they had over 800 people between the ages of about nine and 70 that came through that facility for different hands-on learning. So it is really state of the art and something that uh, our Wisconsin meat processors are very proud of. And by the way, in case you're uh, kind of trying to get your arms around meat processors, these are the folks that are your local butchers in your small communities all across the state. Wisconsin has north of 500 of those kind of small shops in the state, and every one of them has their own recipes. Dairy markets today in Chicago, trying to pull back some of the gains that we lost yesterday. Barrel cheese up two and a half at 157 and a quarter. 40 pound black cheese up two and a half, 153 and a half. Double A butter, two and three quarter cents higher for Friday. Catherine, finish the week. 292 a pound. So there you go. Lots of different activities. Everybody trying to capitalize on what's going to be a beautiful weekend despite the wind that Kelly was talking about. Absolutely. And it sounds like it'll be a good one for some events we have coming up. Thank you, Pam. The Dane County Farmers Market is back on the square this weekend. The City of Madison is reminding you of several street closures that will take place during the market. Those are West Mifflin Street from Wisconsin Avenue to State Street, from State Street to West Dayton Street to West Mifflin Street and then North Carroll from State to West Washington. Those blocks will be closed from 8 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon when the market ends. So let's get another look at the forecast for the weekend. Kelly is here. It looks beautiful. Yeah, you know, beautiful weather. I'm sure it's just going to be jam-packed down there at the uh, Farmer's Market tomorrow because it is going to be a beautiful day, and I'm definitely going to uh, ride my bike down there and avoid uh, some of the uh, traffic. But we are calling for just beautiful weather, whatever you have planned for the entire weekend. And it won't be as windy tomorrow. It's still a bit of a breeze out of the southwest. Even less wind expected on Sunday. I don't know if it can get any better than that. 72 degrees, lots of sunshine uh, both days. So just really going to squeak out a really nice uh, weekend. Having to deal with these winds, yes, sustained winds still up there at 16 miles per hour. They've been sustained 15 to 25. We've had some of these gusts, uh, current gusts right now at 30 miles per hour in Madison. It's as high as 32 right now in Janesville. So we've got these gusty winds. We'll continue to see those up until the sun goes down. Uh, 60 expected today, so we may rise another degree from where we're at. We're still above average, just not quite as warm as we've been. Uh, we are calling for the uh, winds to continue some gusts up to 30 miles per, or 35 miles per hour at times today. And we are calling for those low 70s on Sunday. Enjoy the weekend because it looks like it'll get fairly stormy by the beginning of next week, big, beginning to middle of next week. Monday night and Tuesday looks to be the main target. So our temperatures near 60 today. We'll look at some sunshine. Some clouds will start to pop up 
got some cooler air aloft, and that creates that instability, creating some of these cumulus clouds. Uh, temperatures will back off pretty quickly this evening with the clear skies. Temperatures backing down into the upper 40s as we get to, toward 10 o'clock. So the uh, winds are a factor. They'll remain uh, out of the northwest at 15 to 25 uh, throughout the rest of the afternoon. As we get toward the sundown, that's when those winds should come down about 10 miles per hour as we get toward uh, later this evening. So just count on a bit of a breeze this evening. So we've got a, a taste of some slightly cooler weather, if you will, coming through right now, but that's going to shift on to the east very quickly. We'll get back into a southerly flow throughout the weekend, giving us some mild weather. You do see this little trough, this little dip in the jet stream moving from the Pacific coast into the Rockies. That's our next storm system. A lot of warm air out ahead of it, a lot of moisture coming in from the south and the energy coming in from the west. Those will clash and bring us a pretty good bet for some stronger, maybe some severe storms as we go into Tuesday. That's why we have a first warrant alert day due to the severe weather potential, possible high winds, hail, and can't even rule out an isolated tornado. All of southern Wisconsin will be in line for that. So it's going to bring us a lot of rain regardless, but we could see a couple of rounds of severe weather, possibly in the morning, then again late in the afternoon into the evening hours, and then just some lingering showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm going into a Wednesday as we see cooler weather. Uh, either way, we're going to see some uh, beneficial rains, especially those areas to the west that haven't had a whole lot of rain. They could be talking about one to two inches of rain. Right now, uh, we're looking at 59 in Madison, already 63 in Janesville and across Dane County. We're looking at temperatures generally in the upper 50s, getting close to 60. So our first warm forecast, 60 today with the winds uh, gradually coming down tonight, 67 tomorrow, 72. Beautiful weather this weekend, and there's that chance for showers and storms arriving later Monday night, continuing into Tuesday, and then we cool it down a little bit, maybe actually below average by the end of next week into the following weekend. All right, thank you so much, Kelly. Still to come on News 3 Now at noon, it's a big weekend for golf, and Howard's been cooking up something special in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. We've mastered a cookie recipe just in time for the Masters. Come join us as we get ready to tee off. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Get an 11% rebate on your outdoor project at Menards. Shop the largest in-stock selection of concrete landscaping blocks and AC2 pressure treated lumber and decking. From decks, patios, fire pits, and more. Get free estimates fast using our easy do-it-yourself landscape and deck design programs. Visit us in-store or on Menards.com to get started today. Get an 11% rebate on all decking and landscape blocks. Save big money at Menards. No two people are exactly alike. While I can make my coffee just right for me, I can't customize everything. Take health insurance, for example. Original Medicare is just basic coverage, and it's the same for everyone. It didn't cover all of my health care needs or provide all the benefits I wanted. That's why I called Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield about their Medicare Advantage plans. With one call, they helped me find a Medicare Advantage plan that's like my morning coffee, just right for me. I was able to find a Medicare Advantage plan with additional benefits like dental, vision, prescription drug coverage, and more. But I couldn't have gotten those additional benefits if I didn't call. I spoke to an Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield licensed insurance agent that listened to my needs and treated me like family. They helped me find a plan with all the benefits I need, and they can help you too. The call is free, and there's no obligation to enroll. If you just turned 65, recently moved, or lost coverage, you may be eligible for a plan today. Don't settle for basic coverage. Call now to find a plan with more benefits like dental, vision, and prescription drug coverage. You know, with my old plan, I was missing out on some things I really needed. I heard that new plan options were available for 2024, so I called. I couldn't believe what they had to say. You might just be a little surprised yourself. They even helped me find a plan that lets me keep all of my doctors and specialists. If you're looking for more coverage that fits your needs and your budget, give Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield a call today. They'll help you find a plan that's right for you, just like you made it yourself. Call now. You may be eligible to enroll in a plan today, but you won't know unless you take action. Call 800-916-6140. That's 800-916-6140. 800-916-6140. Call now.
Throughout the year, it's pretty common for us to create recipes that you can serve on game days. You know, wings during football season, recipes that you can dunk while watching basketball, and so on. So when we heard the Masters Golf Tournament was in full swing today, we thought it'd be the perfect time to share our pecan golf ball cookies with you. The first thing we do is place a box of vanilla wafers in a food processor and pulse them until they're really fine. Now we add those to a large bowl along with a package of softened cream cheese, some chopped pecans, and a bit of caramel ice cream topping. And we give that a good mix. After it comes together, we roll this into one inch balls so they're about the size of golf balls and we pop them in the freezer. While those are firming up, we melt some white chocolate bars in the microwave, and once that's smooth, all that's left to do is dip each ball in the chocolate. Before you know it, it's time to tee off. There you have it, a golf ball-sized cookie that, if you pardon the expression, you'll be hooked on. Maybe serve them with your favorite 19th hole beverage, and you're good to go. If you want to master our recipe for pecan golf ball cookies, simply go online. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found an above par way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Would you quit goofing around and try a cookie? And you can watch the Masters here on CBS this weekend. Turning now to some other news, a massive cicada invasion is expected to hit parts of the U.S. as early as this month for the first time in over 200 years. 13-year and 17-year cicadas are reaching adulthood and emerging from the ground at the same time. 16 states will be swarmed by trillions of them, with Illinois and Iowa expected to experience both of them. Researchers say beady-eyed, noisy bugs pose no threat to humans or pets. These cicadas uh, don't have mouth parts that can hurt us. Uh, they're sap feeding insects, um, so although they are a um, a nuisance um, uh, as far as noise outside goes. There's no harm uh, they pose directly to you. In fact, some people eat them. Um, that's their own thing. I would say um, just enjoy their emergence because this phenomenon doesn't happen all the time. Cicadas can damage small plants and trees, so experts suggest using netting to protect them. Cicadas will fly around and scream for about six weeks and as they mate and lay eggs for the next breeds. Wisconsin women's volleyball has some big news today. They announced their non-conference opponents for the 2024 season. The Badgers should be tested early. They face Texas with t the team which beat Wisconsin in the Final Four last season. The Badgers then take on Stanford, whom Texas also knocked out that year. And both of those matches will be at Pfizer Forum. Then they'll travel south to face TCU and Baylor. Their other out-of-conference matches will be against Milwaukee, Marquette, Troy, and Texas A&M. We got one final look at the forecast. Kelly, beautiful weekend weather. Yeah, it is going to be a beautiful uh, weekend. We have nice weather as far as the uh, sunshine is concerned. Temperatures are pretty nice, but we have to deal with the winds. We'll see a little bit more cloud cover as the afternoon wears on. I wouldn't even know if we don't see a shower or sprinkle in Dodge and also Jefferson County to the east. Then we should clear out tonight as temperatures fall down. The winds will not come down until the sun goes down, and they'll be down closer to 10 miles per hour later on this evening. Otherwise, we are looking at beautiful weather this weekend. Upper 60s Saturday, low 70s Sunday. Enjoy it. Lots of sunshine, less wind. Still mild on Monday and Tuesday, but we do have a first warning alert day for the severe weather potential. That'll be coming in Tuesday. It could see a couple of rounds of storms. Then we cool it down throughout the rest of next week. Thanks for watching News 3 Now at noon. Go enjoy that beautiful weather.